Hello and welcome to Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry. <laughs> Guys, it's been a long day. Challenge of the weekend has exhausted me. So, this is the fantasy booting week number 12, 5th of July to the 11th of July. And, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you're going to enjoy this one. What I want you to do is go down below, hit like, hit subscribe, and hit that beautiful notification bell. Share this video with friends, family, bugs, and these trees. Anybody with a YouTube account, really, and get them to subscribe. We need to hit that true hunt 200 mark um, so we can keep growing this channel. And what to do as well, when you're down there, and when you've shared it, come back. And then go to the comments, let me know what you would like me to add into Fantasy Boot. And what would you like to see come in there, would you like to see Camilla get a shot at the title again, would you like to see, I don't know, a legend return, what would you like to see, who would you like to see in the title pictures, let me know and I'll try and work it in. So, we're going to start with Raw as we always do, so on Raw that I've got the IC title match, uh, Apollo Crews versus Rey Mysterio, Apollo Crews gets a win, I'm really keeping this belt on Apollo Crews at the minute, and just kind of, so... Keeping that advancing. After Matt Apollo is on the mic, he's kind of saying there's a no one in this roster that's there eh, that can take me on, blah, blah, blah. Shouting Benjamin music music hits. Shouting says, if, you, if you're going to be giving out title shots, I'm here. I'm tired of you talking so much shit, so I'll take you on and I'll take the belt off you. Apollo says, why should I beat you when Keith Lee bet you just two weeks ago? And I've already bet Keith Lee and made it look easier than what you did. And Shelton Benjamin, I get it, you're just too scared. You don't want to go against somebody who, who's who got more experience, who's better than you. Don't worry about it. So Apollo goes, you know what? Right now, right here, me and you, get in the ring. I see title match, Apollo Cruz versus Shelton Benjamin. Apollo Cruz gets the win. Apollo's like... I don't want anybody to waste my time anymore. Unless you're a qualified competitor, you can't go against me. This is just boring. So what I'm going to try and do is turn him into this guy that's like, he's going to like, I can't, can't face you. You've only got two wins in the past month. Um, nah, you need to at least have 10 to get me. I'm going to turn him into this guy that's going to be like, like give the like, like qualifications to, to face him. And I know that sounds stupid, right? But I think it'll work. So just bear with me while I get it out for the next couple of weeks. Then we get uh, Becky Lynch and Nikki Cross, which I'm going to make a team and I'm going to call it the Celtic Connections because you've got Ireland and Scotland. Bring them together and build them that way. Bringing Nikki up, who's a really good worker, and Becky, who's obviously a great worker. Have these two guys go together. Now, that doesn't mean Becky's not going to get a title shot or get a win in the future for the big belt. But right now, I want to keep the tag. I try to keep that women's tag division alive. But anyway, we've got Becky Lynch and Nikki Cross, Celtic Connections, versus Dana Brooke and Mandy Rhodes. Becky and Nikki obviously get the win here. Then we get John Morrison versus Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin's the win. So here, I'm giving Corbin his kind of... Uh, how would I best describe it? So I'm trying to give him his lone wolf gimmick back. But not his lone wolf gimmick. Well, what I try and do is get him a tweener position. Do me so easy to hate, so we can use him that tween tweener stuff to get the hate, to get the heat. But you can get people behind him as well. There is people that like him. He's a 50-50 audience character, so make him a tweener. He's literally set for that. We then see Bobby Lashley getting ready for tonight's main event. Obviously, tonight's main event is that big CM Punk versus Bobby Lashley match. But then we get Sami Zayn versus Keith Lee. Keith Lee gets a win. Stephanie McMahon's out. She calls Kofi and Woods to the ring because obviously they've been kind of beating each other up the past couple of weeks. And she says over the past couple of weeks, you've one of our best tag teams have disintegrated into hating each other. She doesn't know why this is. And she and because she kind of keep them apart, blah blah blah, all this kind of stuff. And she says, if you want to face each other in money in the bank. To try and settle this food. Wood says why would I grace the ring. With that loser. Why would I waste my time going up against Kofi. When he's always held me down my whole career. He's, he's always tried to be the one up of me. He's never actually tried to support me. He's used me the whole time. All this kind of stuff. He's, do you know what I mean? Just let the guy talk. 
And uh, so Stephanie goes, well, the reason you're going to grace the, grace the ring with Kofi at the pay-per-view is if you don't, the both of you are fired. And whoever loses the match because you can't survive on the roster together goes to NXT. And what they, if they want to get back to this position, they have to win their way back. What I'm trying to do here is, so the loser's going to go to NXT, so then I can bring maybe a Karrion Cross or Bronson Reed, somebody like that, up to the main roster as well, because it creates that wee bit of space. But when they're down there, they'll start to go on a winning streak. Do you know what I mean? Maybe like six months, then they go to SmackDown. Another six months, they'll go to Raw. Something like that. But I think Kofi might be the one that goes. But I think it could also be good putting Woods down there and have him get, like, keep pushing himself back up. Eventually come back up and take out Kofi, maybe next Mania. And then, there's this kind of the idea that I'm playing. Like, I, I want to get a story. I was going to do it with Dominic Mysterio. But I've got something coming up that I know it's going to work with him. So, I that's what I think about them. Then we've got Ahsoka versus Eva Marie. Asuka. Asuka gets the win. Then we get CM Punk versus Bobby Lashley. MVP, can I, he's banned from ringside, so he's not allowed to be there. As Stephanie says last week. So the winner is Bobby Lashley with help from Omos. Stephanie comes out and says this isn't fair. Like, and says that CM Punk is the new champ, but MVP says that... So the story was that if anybody, if MVP intervened, CM Punk gets the win. So Stephanie comes out and says this isn't fair. CM Punk's the new, the new champion. MVP says, but in the contract it says, if I was to intervene, and I've not. Um, so Stephanie then sets a match for the pay-per-view. Bobby Lashley versus CM Punk. TLC match. With no one being able to intervene or the title will be vacated. The reason I'm doing a TLC match is there might be another person that comes back um, that I think is going to be fun. But at the minute, I think CM Punk versus Bobby Lashley in that TLC match, so then there's no excuses. Do you know what I mean? There's like there's no excuses why uh, CM Punk or Bobby Lashley have to get people in because nobody's allowed to get involved in it. After the CM Punk attacks from behind, um, he kind of clears the ring of everybody and he stands tall. Next week there'll be a CM Punk versus Omos match. And then we'll probably have maybe somebody get involved in that or something like that. So Thunder. We've got a 50 minute Ironman match to crown the Thunder Pro Champion. Which is Robert Roode versus Gyro. Gyro gets a win. Jeff Hardy comes out. Gives him the belt. to celebrate. So it, it was like 43 falls it came in. Um, so 4 falls to Gyro and 3 falls to Roode. Then with NXT, we start with a hardcore match. Dakota Kai versus Gonzalez. Raquel, Raquel gets a win. Kai's bleeding. Gonzalez is bloody. They help each other up and shake hands. Kind of smile. They had a little bit of a fallout, but then they've came back together as a team. Do you know what I mean? This is the thing as well. You have arguments with your, your friends and your family or your, your brother's sister or all that kind of stuff. You have arguments with them. It's okay to fall out and then make back up. They've fell back... They've They've made back up, the two of them have respect for each other and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them going for the titles, the actual tag team titles against Blackheart and Moon because the women's, that's across every brand, I'll, then I can get Kai and Raquel, pot them up every now and again on a Raw or on a Smackdown. Then we get the NXT Championship which is Camper, Gargano, AJ Styles, Rude. Now, if AJ Styles and or Randy win, they get a shot. If Camper and if Camper and Gargano win, um, AJ Styles and Randy Orton need to go back to the main roster and they can't come and challenge for it. So AJ Styles and Rand uh, Camper got to win. AJ Styles and Randy Orton are now out of NXT. AJ and Orton are kind of just brawling. AJ hits Orton with a chair, and that's how we end the show because AJ and Orton are having like a feud on the main side. They've came here not together. Orton came and attacked AJ saying that he was going to get the shot at the NXT title but then they're going to be back up in the main roster. They'll have a probably a little match at the pay-per-view. We'll see how that works. Then we get SmackDown. So we get an update on Drew and Jinder after the fight on social media last week. Shane says that it was embarrassing and Drew kind of... This shouldn't be happening. So Drew and Jinder will have a match tonight because they've finally got out of being in their kind of circumstance they were in. 
Uh, so then we get Naomi versus Liv Morgan. Naomi gets the win. We get Cesaro heating up the match at Money in the Bank with uh, Rock and Roman. Because it's a triple threat now. Then we got Ruby Riot versus Ayo Shirai. Ayo gets the win. Adam Cole versus Kevin Owens. Cole gets the win. Roman and Heyman setting up for Money in the Bank. Kind of just putting over and stuff like that. Nakamura versus Big E. Big E gets the win. The Rock talks up the Money in the Bank match. Drew McIntyre versus Jinder Mahal. Drew wins with a roll up. Jinder grabs Drew and keeps beating him up. Then he just walks off. This match at the pay per view, I'm going to do, but it'll be a DQ. It ends in a DQ and then it's going to go into SummerSlam. And I think that we're going to put this match maybe in a Hell in a Cell or we'll put it in a Last Man Standing Rules, something like that. Do you know what I mean? Just a little bit of spice, especially those big pay per views. You need to give somebody something. That's the end of the week, guys. I've not got week 13 booked yet. I've actually just like wrote it down, it's not been booked yet, um, my book's ripped apart, but uh, <laughs> my book and book's not ripped apart, I'm I'm trying to get stories built now, I know Money in the Bank's coming up on the 16th, and it feels like we're having matches there midway through a story, but I don't, we don't need to end a, a fucking feud at a pay-per-view, but what I can do is have something built to there, and then we can end these at SummerSlam, I think I'm going to get a lot of matches ending at SummerSlam. So, uh, Rock, Roman, their thing's probably going to end there. And we're going to move on to something different. Um, we might be getting Edge returned and stuff like that as well. There's a lot of stuff that I've got that I want to do. So, we're just kind of going to see how it plays out and how it works. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that beautiful notification bell. We're on that road to 200 subscribers. So, let's get going. Let's get moving, let's get growing, and let's get feeling good. <laughs> See you later, guys.